Welcome to Yukanic. Today here on Yukanic we've got a 2012 Toyota Camry and on this Toyota Camry we're going to go over how you replace the back rear brakes and rotors on this car. So to start with you've jacked up the car, you've got it supported on jack stands and you've got the wheels chopped if needs be and it's best to work on a good level surface. So then we've removed the tire. And so now we've gotten to the rear caliper. We've got the carrier here, the caliper here. We've got two bolts here that hold the caliper to the carrier and two bolts that hold the whole mechanism on. So we'll go ahead and break these loose as well as the caliper ones. Um, just to get them broke loose to make it easy for us. These are a size 14. And then the caliper to hold the carrier to here, they're size 17. All right, everything loose. Then we can go ahead and remove these bolts here. And hold the caliper to the carrier and we'll set that up here. We want to do the best not to put a lot of pressure or strain on this cable here. And you're just going to pop your brakes off. So just able to kind of twist these out and remove them out of the carrier and then just pull the rotor off take a good look at it and then it looks pretty good All right and you know that there is um, drum brakes in here and these act as your um, emergency brake so it's a disc disc on drum rotor on drum um, so you're going to want to check those. So to get this off you're going to want to also make sure that you didn't have your um, emergency brake set because if your emergency brake set you're not going to be able to get this off. They're going to be locked on. But you're going to check those. These aren't going to wear very much unless you left the emergency brake on um, and drive down the road. So you just check them. Take a good look. You got plenty of life on those. I'm more concerned about replacing the actual rotor itself. And the brakes. So we're going to want to push this uh, caliper back. Use an old brake. And you just press that back. Use that old brake. Gives you a nice flush push. Um, flash it's even when it pushes it back and so that's why I like to use an old brake so we've done that then the same thing on the carrier here we're gonna want to check the lubrication in here so just pop the cover pull it out yeah that can be cleaned and put some new so this one I had to use some pliers to kind of pull it out twist it and pull it out uh, we're gonna check your boots at the same time see if you can see any real crazy noticeable um, cracks in it otherwise you can buy a new boot and guide pin placement uh, clean these off so you're gonna clean your guide pins off put some new grease on them reinsert them this is a it's called the brake caliper grease it's not just your um, it's not just regular grease it's brake caliper grease it's for a high high temp grease At a regular auto parts store. Okay, now put the uh, put the rotor on. Like that, and we'll go ahead and put this.
So we mounted our carrier, all good and tight. Now we go ahead and put our brake pads in there. Just line them up. Okay, brake pads mounted inside there. Then we can go ahead and put the caliper back on. And that's uh, number 14. So we just tighten it up. We were fortunate on that one to not have to. All right. So that's how you replace your brake calipers, well not your brake calipers, how you replace your brakes and rotor on your Toyota Camry. Um, other thing to note is when you're done, you're going to want to make sure that you press the brake pedal a few times, start the car, press the brake pedal a few times to be able to get the caliper to sync up with the brake pads so that you don't have spongy brakes and you're able to stop. But you want to do that if you when you replace all your brakes around. So we've got our back brake, front brake. Um, if you do them all around, you want to make sure that you get those all close together so that when you do apply the brakes, you do get your stopping power. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.